Hi, my name is Daniel Rotman from IBM Research AI Haifa, and I'm going to present to you our paper, Detection Masking for Improved OCR on Noisy Documents. This is a joint work with my colleagues, Ophira Zulai, Inbar Shapira, Yevgeny Bursten, and Udi Barzilai. Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, is a critical technology for analyzing documents and extracting their information. The technology visually identifies characters appearing in documents, localizes them at various granularity levels, letter, word, or sentence, and performs recognition to classify the characters which appear. Off-the-shelf commodity OCR technologies exist, such as Tesseract, which exhibits excellent, excellent performance. However, when the documents contain noise, such as scanning artifacts or non-textual elements, standard OCR solutions often exhibit degraded results. In this work, we present a system aimed at improving the output of standard OCR technologies on noisy documents. Our system includes a new type of synthetic data with a hard negative component designed specifically to overcome noise present in documents. It includes a UNED architecture acting as a detection network and a masking formulation which can be applied in a general fashion to a black box OCR technology. As we see below, the image is fed into the detection network, here represented as a unit architecture with contracting and then expanding layers, to output a segmentation map. The segmentation map is utilized to indicate bounding boxes of identified words. Areas not identified are masked out, resulting in a cleaner image. This then is fed into the black box OCR technology, in this case Tesseract, to output the improved results. As I've mentioned, our data synthesis approach includes a hard negative generation component. The hard negatives are composed of character parts which are rotated and scaled. As you can see in the examples on the top right, these represent difficult samples which are character-like but don't constitute actual letters. This is tailored to train the network to be able to disregard even the most difficult types of noise artifacts. The synthesizer includes a multitude of backgrounds, fonts, and noise. Additionally, the ground truth segmentation map is constructed of aggregated character level bounding boxes to avoid protruding letters causing the background around smaller letters to be labeled as text. This type of ground truth labeling is crucial when training a segmentation network with a pixel level output. Here we see some examples of synthesized documents, where in our experiments we used 100,000 of these documents for training. On the one hand, we see the variety of font type and size, backgrounds, noise artifacts, and hard negatives. On the other hand, we point out that the text is kept in a relatively strict document structure with aligned paragraphs and lines. This allows us to leverage some of the basic assumptions of how a document will look and limiting the necessary complexity of the network. We utilize our synthesized data to train a UNET architecture detection network. The detections from the network are used to mask or blank out the parts of the document which don't include text. We note that as opposed to document denosing approaches, our approach does not contaminate the text in any way. Rather, it removes the noise artifacts but leaves the text unaltered. Here we see some examples of applying our masking technique. We can see that this approach will greatly decrease false detections of noise artifacts which would be erroneously detected as text. However, on top of this, we'd like to point out that the approach lets the OCR technology leverage contextual information between neighboring bounding boxes. When using each detection on its own, the black box OCR technology can't leverage the context 
that is the neighboring bounding boxes, their locations and their recognition results. By removing the non-textual elements, the OCR technology can perform an analysis at the document level and thus leverage contextual data. From our experiments, critical components such as post-OCR error correction cannot be employed with a black box OCR technology unless a setup such as this is taken to retain contextual information while suppressing noise artifacts. We used the ICDAR-19 dataset, SROWI, to test the system. This dataset includes over a thousand scanned receipts with hand annotated ground truth for both localization and case insensitive recognition. We leveraged Tesseract as an OCR system and compared the use of our dataset to the DDI 100 dataset, as well as comparing to two state of the art detection networks, PAN and EAST. In the bottom two rows of the table, we can see the benefit of using our data set as opposed to the DDI 100 data set. Though the DDI 100 data set leverages real documents and is one of the only training data sets for documents, we found that the variability and distortions in the data set were not diverse enough to train a powerful text detector which is truly robust to noise. Comparing the two right columns in the table shows the advantage of using our masking approach with any detection network. For the sake of integrity, we'd like to point out some of the limitations of this work to understand when it can be applicable. Because of the hard negative generation approach, the detection network learns to identify specifically letters from the alphabet in the training data. For detecting documents using non-Latin alphabets, a new network would need to be trained. Additionally, natural scene text networks, or NST, which employ powerful architectures with higher resource consumption rates, are much more robust to noise and graphical elements. If time or resource constraints are not an issue, NST could be leveraged and would probably show improved performance. Finally, the motivation behind the masking approach is to utilize the context of the document with the black box OCR technology. Our approach allows one to apply a standard OCR technology such as Tesseract off the shelf with improved results on noisy documents. However, if one wanted to train a designated OCR engine on top of the detection network, then the masking approach might not be necessary. In conclusion, we showcased mainly our hard negative data synthesis approach, which we will be making publicly available, and also our masking technique, which we presented as an off the shelf and generally applicable method to improve black box OCR technologies on noisy documents. If you're interested, please see the paper for more details. I'd be glad to answer any questions you have. Thank you.